أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Brother Lofi, how are you? Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah, I'm good brother Good, good to hear brother Can you tell us a verse from the Quran about a parent's rights over their children? One verse? Sure Alhamdulillah uh, there is a number of verses in the gracious Quran which speak about parents' rights. Walillahi alhamd. But let me mention one verse or two verses because they are together in sure. one context. In Surah Al Isra or Surah Bani Israel, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bada udu billahi minash shaytan rajeem, Bismillahi rahman rahim. Wa qada rabbuka alla ta'budu illa iyahu, wa bil walidaini ihsanan. Your Lord has ordered that you should worship no one but Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And He also ordered you to be dutiful and good to your parents. Bilwalidaini ihsana. Dutiful, good to your parents. And then the ayah continues. And if one of your parents or both of them reach an old age, then make sure you do not say to them uf. Uf mm -hmm. is perhaps the smallest Arabic expression which says or which means telling someone or showing someone you are unhappy. Uf, like mm -hmm. leave me alone. Yeah. فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا And do not argue with them. Do not raise your voice when speaking to them. And then Allah ordered you to speak to them in this manner within the same verse. وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا And when you speak to them, speak to them politely, beautifully, respectfully. This is one verse. The one that comes right after this verse, he says, وَخْفِذْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الذُّلِّ مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ and submit before your parents with humility and show compassion and mercy before them. When you are talking to your parents, when you are standing in, a field, in front of your parents, make sure you submit to them, i.e. in obedience, in humility, and you express mercy towards them. And then Allah ordered us to make dua for our parents. وَقُلْ رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا And say, O oh my Lord, have mercy on my parents. Kama Rabbayani Sahira. Sorry, one second. Sorry. Uh, the, the topic about parents, like. It's okay, brother. It's okay. This shows that you care for your parents. And Allah have mercy on them. So the ayah says, وَقُلْ رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا Say, O oh my Lord, have mercy on my parents. كَمَا رَبَّيَانِ صَغِيرًا Just like they brought me up since I was young. They fed you when you couldn't feed yourself. They dressed you when you couldn't dress yourself. They gave you a drink when you couldn't give yourself a drink. They put you to bed when you couldn't put yourself to bed. They washed you when you couldn't wash yourself. Now Allah is telling you that you are a grown man. Allah is ordering you to make dua for your parents, whether they are alive or they have passed away. رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِ صَغِيرًا My Lord, have mercy on them since they brought me up when I was little. This is one of the greatest verses in the Quran al kareem which speak about the rights of parents over their children. We have so many shortcomings towards our parents. May Allah forgive us. And may Allah have mercy upon our parents. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the best Muslims when it comes to treating their parents. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Barakallahu feekum wa hayyakumullah. Assalamu alaykum.